Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to design, 3D print, and use a custom homemade hat hoop. So stick around to see how we do it. video we embroidered this hat right here but we couldn't really utilize all the space because we got to use the smallest hoop. Right so we first tried utilizing our 4x4 hoop and pinning down the hat to stabilizer but we weren't getting the results that we wanted off of that so we ended up having to embroider this very small design on our very small uh, hoop. So instead today we're going to design something that will fit into the outer shell of our 5x7 hoop and print it out. So what we first have to do is get some measurements off of the inner hoop piece because this is what we are going to design in Fusion 360 to hold our hat. And we just need the outer dimensions here that will end up fitting in our outer shell. We went ahead and 3D printed out our hoop and we had to go through a few iterations so it will fit nicely in our hoop. Right, getting it to fit exactly in here based off of a picture that you saw in our design process wasn't exactly easy because of the perspective of the camera where it was. So we had to do a few adjustments to get it to fit just right. So as you can see, we went through not one, not two, but three different iterations to get it to fit right. Plus, because of the size of our 3D printer, we weren't able to print out the main outer shell in one piece. We ended up having to design it in two pieces that click together. So creating the little clicking mechanism was also part of the design iteration to get just right so it stayed in place when we took it out of our hoop. And now it's finished and it fits perfectly and we'll show you how that goes together. Mm -hmm. So we designed it with 
some legs in here and a little ramp here that this piece can click into place and hold it stable both in this direction as well as keeping it together in this direction. And all we have to do, because we designed it so perfectly, Megan, is push them together and they snap in place. That's so and Look cool. at that. <laughs> That's a nice solid piece that fits perfectly in our five by seven hoop, just like that. And the next piece, we have some M5 bolts and some wing nuts and washers that we're just gonna stick underneath. And again, you saw us design out the hole here for the M5 bolt. And that just goes into place like that, nice and flush. In reality, we could have used uh, shorter bolts, but we didn't have any on hand, so. We're gonna use these long ones. And then, the piece that will hold the bill in place just fits nicely there. Some washers. And our M5 wing nuts. Just like that. Nice. So let's get a hat to see if it will hold down nicely and then try to embroider. Yes, let's go. We're just going to loosen these up. We're going to slide the bill in until it stops. Make sure it's straight in there. And tighten our wing nuts. It doesn't have to be excessively tight, but tight enough to hold the hat down. Very nice. And then we can embroider all of this area here very nicely. So we're in Inkscape and we're just going to use our 4x4 template because it really doesn't matter. Right, we're not going to use 5x7 space. We just want to get a good gauge of size of our design. And we're going to do something simple, just a couple letters. We're going to do PA mm -hmm. using our lettering GUI. Do you remember our shortcut for that? Um, shift Control L. Shift Control L. And again, if you didn't watch our shortcuts video, Hit the card above. What kind of font do you want on your hat? Um, I think lobster maybe. And are we gonna do puff embroidery for this? Yeah, let's go ahead and make this puff embroidery. So in order to do that, we're just gonna change some settings and params. First, I wanna get this sized right, so we want it about two inches wide, right? Mm -hmm. Hit control. And that should be good right there. Oops. We'll just move this on our work area. And since this is a very simple design, we're not going to worry about layers or colors or anything like that. And we'll just pick the color that we want to load in our machine. But for now, we need to change our params. To get the best results with puff embroider, we found changing the density. Density, correct. So we're gonna ink stitch. Oh, we have a shortcut for this. What am I doing? Shift Control P. And just like before, we're gonna change some of our parameters here. We want uh, to change this to 0.2 to create a denser satin stitch. Apply and quit. And now we can save it. We're gonna save it as a zip file. Now we're good to go and embroider this design out on our hat. So we have some stabilizer in between. Our hat, tightly put in our hoop. And our puff embroidery, the same color that we're gonna embroider in to the machine.
it finished and it looks pretty nice. Let's get it out of here. Let's see if we got that PA on straight. Looks like it's pretty straight. Yeah. Right through. That's a good sign. Yeah. This is gonna be pretty nice. Let's Take get this out of here. Yeah. All right. I don't kind of don't know what we should do first. Take it out of the hoop. together because of our clips. Rip off our stabilizer. Very nice. It looks centered from here. Let's peel it off. And then again, we're just going to use a lighter on this real quick. Just kind of clean up the threads here and get rid of the rest of this puff embroidery that's sticking out. And that's some pretty good results right there. Definitely. Maybe you should wear that hat. Maybe I will. Nice hat. Thanks. I did it with my hat embroidery hoop. Personally, I think the hat turned out really, really good. Yes, so we got very good results with our homemade, home-designed hat hoop. And we could utilize a lot more space with this because if we we're using the little one by two and a half hoop. Yeah, um, we have basically this whole work area in mm -hmm. the middle to work with, but we just want to do some simple puff embroidery letters on here that fits kind of the size of this hat. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in this hat hoop, we're going to upload it to Thingiverse for you. Yeah, so you don't have to design this all by yourself. We're going to upload the files on Thingiverse and you can have our design for free. Just go to Thingiverse, the link will be in the description, and you can either 3D print it yourself or find a friend who has a 3D printer. And the files will be right there for you to 3D print and put in your 5x7 hoop to get embroidering your hats. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye! For free. We're going to go ahead and put the PES file, or the PES file. If you're, interest, if you're interested on this... <laughs>